Hey there, Butch. Hi. Who are you? Do I know you? Um, you call me Mike. Listen. Okay. You know life hasn't really been going well for you, huh? Has it ever? No. You do know you have an option, right? What? You always have an option, Butch. An option of what? You could just, you know, end yourself. <clears throat> Even though you have done that before, haven't you? Yeah, I've tried. Yeah, and clearly you can't even fucking kill yourself correctly. Who the fu- What? You just come into my camp telling me to kill myself. You got a strange sense of humor, friend. And you have a strange way of living, friend. You can't choose a life. Ever. You come in here and critique how I'm living? When will you learn, Butch? Learn what? What the fuck? For you, you it doesn't matter. What does it matter? You'll learn. Even though, I do appreciate how pretentious you are and how you play stupid. We both know what's gonna happen. There's no good ending for you. What are you... What? <laughs> your, self a or your selfless actions are gonna get others killed. You should no. do the right thing. No. Get out. Get the fuck out. You disappoint me, mister. Get out! Oh. Get the fuck out of here. I Before see I you go, again. I'm gonna fucking shoot you. Before I go, I want you to know she did miss you. What? What? She did miss you. Who? Goodbye, Mr. Vesseloa. Who? Son of a bitch, who? What the fuck were you shooting at, Butch? Oh, I was shooting at the guy. What guy? The guy that was just in our camp. I didn't see no guy. You didn't... Never mind. I just woke up. You get some fucking clothes on. I'm gonna go sit by the fence. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm fucking freezing. Hey, Butch. Hi. A morning we have. Yeah. Not sure if you guys lost track of time or not, but it's Christmas. Christmas fucking day. <sighs> well, I don't expect to find any Last gifts good under the Christmas. Christmas I had was 15 years ago. Why was it important to you? It was the last Christmas I spent with my wife and daughters. Oh. Vincent, did I hear gifts? No. Oh. Speaking Maybe of gifts, so I think my wife sent some gifts in the lockbox. Hmm? I, I got a delivery from my wife. She said she'd send something. Congratulations. How does she... Whatever. I tell her things, I write letters. Oh my god. We didn't tell god. her too much. I just realized how stupid... Oh my god. A bandana! Guys! Look at the bandana she gave me! What's the special really about that? Well. 
It. I don't know. It's a bandana. Didn't you already own that fucking bandana? No, I I owned the one that was black and gold. She sent me one that's black and white. Cool, awesome. I, I'm gonna write her a letter later. Right, you do. Oh my God. You know what, Vincent? Can I borrow your pen and paper? I need to write a letter. You don't have my... your own. Go my camp. No, I used it all. I was making paper mache. Fuck it. What the hell is even that? That's, uh... I read about it. It's like when you fold pieces of useless, because usually it gets rained on and it ruined. Okay. Well, you know, what I used to do with my daughters is I would always tell them a story about something. Oh. Let's hear about it, Butch. What do you gotta say? You wanna hear a story? Sure. Is I mean, it ooh, it's ooh, ooh, did I hear a well. story? Austin, you're the let, most let me put childish, the, out, let, childish outlaw that I've ever met. I know. Let me put this letter in the lockbox real quick. Oh my god. Yeah, what would we do with okay. the Austin? You would have no excitement around here. Mm. Well? You're gonna tell the story? Second. Let the man get ready. Hold Actually, on. but she looking Do your good, shit, man. Who is looking right. good? Oh. No, yeah, whatever. I'm just having flashbacks of. I see you decided not to jump. Did my words help? What? Did my words help? You just decided not to jump. No, Austin, shut the fuck up. Actually, Butch, you, you feeling alright, man? You don't look so good. I don't know, I've been having some weird fucking dreams recently. Yeah. I had flashbacks of family, the good and bad ones. Mostly the bad ones, but... But anyway, the story... Starts right mm -hmm. back in, like, the... 70s-ish. There was a man. Very... He was really good gunslinger. One of the best around. He prowled through these par very parts. Valentine, New Austin, or New Hanover, New Austin, West Elizabeth, Le Moyne. All those areas. He's been... He was all around. He killed at least one person in every town he went to. Well, he dueled them, I mean. Mm -hmm. So one... Buried. Fine day, he found a girl. After he found the stool partner, he found that girl. They were in love at first sight. Mm -hmm. Love story. And great. They got together, and then. After a bit of talking, a couple hours, they had a romantic evening. He realized, come next noon, he was dueling her brother. Oh. That's sad. Then, the feller... Well, this family was big. There was like, six brothers. But they weren't gonna object to anything. Cause the brother, they... He agreed to duel and... Fair duel's a duel. The girl was like, no... Or, the girl said to him the night before... We should just run away together. Get as far away from here as possible. But he couldn't swallow his pride. He was gonna duel her brother. Next morning came, he was preparing. She suggested they run away together again. She was, at this point, trying to drag him out of the town. Then all the brothers arrive. The one that was gonna duel him. They stand up. Tell the story. 
They get ready to duel. And it happens. Gunshots are fired. The man obviously won. And well The brother got his shot off. However, he missed. The brother shot his sister. Oh god. Right in the Excuse chest. Me? Whoa. Am I not a bad it. part? And the man, he... He kneeled over the body. For hours. He held the body in his grasp for hours. Some might even say he was there for days. He was holding her body. Hmm, and then... The next day, the brothers came back for revenge. They kidnapped him. Tied him up by his legs. Kneeled him down. They all put shotguns to his skull. Oh my god. And... Well... I... I mean... The man, he, he didn't even quite know what happened. He just says all he remembers was he thought about the woman. And it had been like time just stopped. But the man doesn't really know. He woke up the next day in a jail cell. He killed all six of those brothers. Well, yeah, I think it was six. I don't quite remember. I mean, hmm. how does it end? Well, man, he gave up on gunslinging and dueling at least, and he. Settled down, had a wife, had two daughters. Heard now he might even run a gang. Not too sure about that last room went out, though. Well, that's what you call a happy ending. Yeah, Austin, uh, actually, you aren't looking too good either, Austin. What are you talking about, Vincent? I don't know. Look pale. It's probably just the snow. Yeah, probably. Strange. What the fuck? Oh, butch. Oh, what the fuck? Ah! How could you let me die? I did it! I didn't let you die! How could you let him shoot me? I did it! Why'd you have to listen to him? You could have just shot him on sight. The snipers, but they would have killed us all. We're outlaws. Fuck the snipers. Fuck the snipers. We, we would have died. Dodge them. It's not. No, I'm pretty sure they were not marksman shooters. I'm sure they, they were. What are you And doing? people were handling the snipers. Like Finn said. Stop, get out, get out. This is, you're not, get out, go. Where's the rest of the gang? You're in my head. Get out! Where are they? No, Butch. I'm dead. 
a mole in your head. No! They're all gonna get hung because of your mistakes. You need to learn from your damn mistakes. Ah! You, you got me killed. Ah! No! Stop! Stop! Because of your fucking mistakes. Stop! 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 Not until you learn. Oh, shit, stop! Oh, God! Relax, ambitions. Leave me alone. I'm gonna take that as you. Yeah. Deep. You might be my prisoner, but I know you, Butch. You're a good, you're a good man. For uh, you went down this outlaw life. Hey, you know, any man can change. I'm gonna go get us some crackers and get some uh, stuff. I'm hungry. I'm you come in the you cell again, I'm choking you. <sighs> All right, Mr. Vestalo. Huh? Great love once you miss me. 